Hey, what's up guys, Banella here. Welcome to Consumer Tech, the Friday checkout. It is a Friday and we talk all things tech. This week, we talk about a car with supposedly an installment of 150 rands per month. April 28th, Samsung to reveal its most powerful Galaxy. Microsoft Edge launches kids mode, a way to monitor browsing activity for preteens. Surface Laptop 4 coming to South Africa. This tip of the week will help you sleep better. Xbox Game Pass, the Netflix of gaming. And the app pick of the week, use your smartphone as a web camera. Social media has been buzzing about a car that costs 150 rands per month or for a cash price of no more than 5,000 rand. Now the cute car is an Indian car manufactured and designed by Pujaj, which is also famously known for the Intracity Tuk Tuk, which is a three-wheel vehicle for short distance travel. Now the cute car is a quadricycle vehicle marketed as an eco-friendly, affordable and fuel efficient car. However, it doesn't tick all boxes that would qualify it as a car. Think of it as a three-wheeled tuk-tuk with an extra wheel, sporting a 0.6 engine capacity with a travel distance of about 30 kilometers for only a liter of petrol. So let's talk facts. Number one, yes, the car does exist. Number two, it is available in South Africa as well as other neighboring countries like Mozambique and I personally have seen it myself. And three, no, the car does not cost 150 rands per month. The cute car by Bajaj retails for 75,000 Rand. Whilst the Bajaj Cute seemed like a no-brainer at 150 Rand per month, in the comments below let me know do you think it's still an attractive buy at 75,000 Rand? I guess we're still in the month of April and April Fools had most of us fooled in the month of April. The most powerful Galaxy is coming. April 28th, Samsung is set to reveal its most powerful Galaxy. Rumor has it that it'll probably be the Galaxy Z Fold 3. Although the Galaxy brand is not entirely exclusive to smartphones, as Samsung has tablets and laptops making use of the Galaxy brand name. Other rumors have it that it won't be a Galaxy Note 2021. If I were to add my two cents, the Galaxy Z Fold 2 debuted at 2000 US dollars and it didn't even come with a stylus. Also, it didn't even sell as much units as the Galaxy Note. So it could be the Galaxy Note with better specs, or perhaps a Z Fold 3, or a laptop with the latest internals. In Microsoft's ongoing endeavor to unite families with the recent launch of the Family Safety app, which allows parents to monitor activities on their children's smartphones, PCs, and Xbox consoles. They are taking a step further with launching a new kids mode that makes it easy for parents to control how their children surf the web. The feature is split into two modes and accessible from the profiles menu by selecting browse in kids mode. The two modes is between five to eight year olds and nine to 12 year olds. Kids mode enables the strictest level of tracking prevention, Bing safe search to filter out adult content, images and video from search results. The only difference between the two modes is that one includes a news feed with carefully curated articles from Microsoft News for Kids. It focuses on fun topics like science and animal facts, as opposed to breaking news or politics. By default, Kids Mode has roughly 70 popular sites allowed from the get-go. Other websites can be manually added. In the event that a child tries to access a website outside the list, they will be greeted with a friendly prompt asking for adult supervision. In case you're wondering, certain keyboard shortcuts have also been disabled like exiting the browser in hopes of launching a fresh instance. To switch back to the normal browser, it is as easy as entering your Windows credentials. Surface Laptop 4 headed to SA. Recently, Microsoft launched Surface Laptop 4 in the US with confirmed plans to launch in SA in August. The company calls the Surface Laptop 4 its most powerful laptop yet, with up to 70% boost in certain workloads and up to 19 hours of battery life. The laptop will feature two variants with a 13.5 inch and a 15 inch models with a choice between the 11th generation Intel Core or AMD Ryzen mobile processors. They also feature a touchscreen with fast charging with variants up to 32 gigabytes of RAM and one terabyte of SSD storage. They will be available in four colors, matte black, platinum sandstone and cobalt blue. 
Now for the tip of the week. Have you ever worked into the late night staring at a screen, whether it's a smartphone or a PC? Did you know that your screen is emitting blue light? That somewhat tricks your brain to say, hey, it's still daylight and it should not shut down anytime soon. As a result, when it's time to sleep, you'll find it hard to fall asleep. Windows, Android and iOS have baked in features that allow you to filter out blue light. You can dial in the amount of blue light you wish to filter, which will make your screen a little bit more orange. Now on Windows 10, it is as easy as heading to settings, click on systems, under brightness and color, activate night light. You can dial in the intensity by clicking night light settings with a slider to dial it in. You can even take it as far as scheduling times for sunrise and sunset for out and in times respectively. Now on Android and iOS, it is as simple as swiping down to open quick settings and activating the blue light feature. Now in the gaming zone, if you're a PC gamer, you'll be happy to know that there is an equivalent of Netflix, but for games called Xbox Game Pass. For as little as 99 rands per month, you can gain access to a large library of AAA games like Forza Horizon 4, Sea of Thieves, the Halo franchise, and Gears of 5, to name a few. The catalog also includes indie titles of about 105 titles. You can choose from collections of strategy, sports, indie, RPG, Bethesda Softworks, and wait for it, EA Play titles like Battlefield, Crisis, FIFA, Need for Speed, and much more. If you also have an Xbox console, you can upgrade to Xbox Game Pass Ultimate for 149 rands per month. And this is where the value add is because it includes the EA catalog as well as the Xbox Live Gold. So in the comments below, let me know, are you a gamer? Do you prefer to game on a console, a PC, or your smartphone. And finally, for the app pick of the week, if you have ever dreamed of using your smartphone camera as a webcam for those long Zoom, Skype, and Teams calls, then you are in luck. All you need to do is download the app on both your computer and smartphone, connect your phone to the same Wi-Fi as your PC or connect it using a USB cable. Once connected, you'll be able to go to Zoom, Skype, Teams or any app that makes use of your webcam and choose Arian Webcam. You can choose between the front-facing camera and the rear camera with the option to switch on the flashlight in dark environments. Now in announcements, April 20th, Apple launched a number of impressive hardware products, including AirTags, which is a coin-sized device that you can attach to your keys or backpack, and using the Find My app, you'll be able to track it if you ever lose it. They also launched Colored Max, sporting 24 inches of beautiful 4.5K Retina display powered by the M1. That also includes the iPad Pro, which is also powered by the M1 and it sports a 5G chip for faster connectivity and an ultra wide facing camera. And last but not least, it's the Apple TV 4K and it's powered by the A12 Bionic chip and a new Siri remote. Thank you for tuning in. In the comments, let me know what kind of tech videos would you like me to cover. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you dislike it, give it a thumbs down. But if you love it, please subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell just so that next time when we release a video, you'll be the first one to know about it. My name is Banela for Consumer Tech. This is the Friday Checkout. Until next week, stay blessed.